Obviously, we chose Planet Earth because it's very topical at the moment. Um, I think, you know, we've seen the stories of more people, more young people are tuning into Planet Earth and X Factor. Um, so the whole country is gripped and everyone loves David Ambra. There's no doubt about that. So I think the style fitted with what we wanted to do as well. Like the way they film and stuff like that, it's pretty spectacular. Um, so we wanted to replicate something like that. No, we didn't plan it either. Um, we told the team vaguely we had a premise of what we were going to do, like a um, small glimpse of the idea, um, and then we carried it out. We just asked them if they could film it. It could have been any task, it could have been anyone in the office. Um, by chance, Tom was doing a presentation. Um, we just filmed him without asking him. It worked out really well. And we called it a performance because he was putting on a performance. And he was presenting both to um, an internal member of the team and also to a client. So it's quite a good summary in a sense of what we do. We, we teach the team and share knowledge with the team. That's a really important part of what we do at Three Man. Sharing knowledge obviously allows the team to be flexible. If a client wants something um, ad hoc or off the cuff, um, we can adapt to that if the whole team's educated and what everyone does, it's easier to, um, to meet the demands of the client. Nathaniel was the lone wolf. Um, so he was, he was doing planning basically. He was um, doing a breakdown for one of our clients. Um, he was doing a customer journey, so a customer mapping what their customer goes through. And this client offers a number of different services. So he's just trying to work out how best um, we can make that journey as smooth as possible. So. He had loads of paper, he had it all mapped out physically in front of him, and then um, kind of scribbling bits off, adding bits in, and just trying to make that process as um, efficient as possible, both for the customer and obviously from a business point for the client. They were quite animalistic, so it was kind of um, impressing people, um, getting people's attention, trying to read people. There's a lot of like um, sort of psychological things going on, like animals doing the sort of kingdom as well. I've seen videos of monkeys where they, they give them a task and the way they go about it is sort of trial and error process and that's kind of sometimes what we have to do sometimes you know we, we, we do a lot of planning to find out what will work and what won't work and we'll test it amongst ourselves or uh, randomly blind test it and find out if it's going to work. Things like this allow us to use new techniques so we always find out about new stuff that's going on um, can't always practice them with clients so it's good to practice them in ourselves and then we can put it forward to clients and say this is what we can do. So we have to put a conscious effort on actually being um, creating new stuff, creating unique stuff um, and that starts with us. So if we can start doing unique stuff and showing off what we can do and if we can be current and we can be different, it's a lot of those actually apply to what our clients want so they want to be different, they want to be unique, they want to be the first. It is who we are at Three Man Factory. Um, so it's good to show our current clients know, but sometimes uh, potential future clients, they don't know exactly who we are, so it's good to show off that we, um, we work hard, we have a bit of a laugh, and hopefully that comes across in the video.